Well, hi there. Today we're going to be using our handy dandy Texas Instruments uh, BA2 Plus financial calculator. We're going to be calculating simple interest and compound interest. We're going to start off with simple interest first. So this first problem, we've got uh, $10,000 as our present value. Our interest rate is 6%. We want to know how much we're going to have in our account at the end of the year. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to turn the calculator on and uh, with uh, the BA2, sometimes the uh, the payments per year is set to 12, so you want to change that. Hit second, payments per year, and if it is set to 12, then you just want to hit one, and then hit enter, and it should be set to one now. And let's go ahead, click uh, set, uh, second, and quit. Now we're back in calculator mode. So let's go ahead and enter our information here. We've got $10,000 as our present value, so 10000 and with any present value, you always want to make it negative on these financial calculators. So let's uh, hit present value. And then we've got our interest rate, which is 6. So then I hit 6 for our interest rate, interest per year. And then we are dealing with one period. So we click 1, and then we hit N for, for our periods. Uh, since with simple interest, we're only dealing with one period. And then once we're ready, we uh, click the Compute button right here. And then we click future value. The future value is going to be $10,600. So that's how you calculate simple interest on one of these BA2 uh, pluses. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, clear all the stuff in our uh, <clears throat> in our time value money um, parameters. So let's go second, clear, time value money. So now it's all clear. Let's go second, quit. Let's focus on compound interest. So we've got a present value of $10,000, interest rate of 6%. And uh, we've got three years. We want to know how much we'll have in our account with this compounding interest. And our starting amount is 10000 So I'm going to type 10000 And uh, I want to make that negative. And present value. There we go. Our interest rate is 6%. So there we go. That's entered for our interest pay, uh, rate per year. And our um, number of payments is 3. So 3. And then I hit number. So that's entered. So let's compute future value and right here this is the uh, this is the future value with the compounding interest eleven thousand nine hundred and ten dollars so this is simple uh, interest and compounding interest on a BA2 plus